In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Boondicott. To the Boondacast, the official podcast of Boondablog.com, the home of the holidays this year. And I am your ho ho host, Stephen. And today is a very special Power Rangers surprise holiday special. This is the Boondacast. I am Stephen, and today we have such awesomeness. I am going to go through our co-hosts that we're going to do this episode with today. First up, we have our non-binary champion of the podcast, D-Rock, the they of theys. Are you feeling festive, D-Rock? I'm feeling very festive. I've been watching Christmas movies all day, including my favorite of all time, Red Claws. Nice, <laughs> nice. Also with us is... Our um, our pop culture flowchart founder, the greatest visionary in all of digital media, after Elon Musk, Mr. J. <laughs> How you doing, Merry Mr. Christmas. J? Merry Christmas! Oh, he's got a little Santa mini me. Watch out! Um, also with us today, we have our very own blockbuster guy. The king of Sonic himself, Blockbuster guy Frank is here. How you feeling, oh, Frank? Pretty, I'm feeling pretty fresh. I got some oh. Mentos. oh man, he's sponsored by Mentos, the Fresh Maker. No yeah. way! <laughs> Damn. See all these sponsorships we got. Um, next up, we have the cohortress of this podcast and of my heart, the oh. number one stunner, the Chicken Nugget. The creepy herself, Danny. <laughs> How you doing, Danny? You're rocking some Pusheen? I'm, I'm ready. Yes, I'm rocking my Pusheen Christmas sweater. And you're hanging Pusheen. out in outer space? Yes. This is... all... There's yeah. no space in the house anymore. No, none. And also, back from his appearance in Florida Supercon in 2018... The person, wow. who, yeah, like, it's wow. been a while, it feels like forever, but it, it was just a day ago. Yeah, um, we, we did a special podcast panel called uh, I think it was called the Go Go Power Rangers podcast special or something, I forgot the title. But we had our Power Rangers expert, friend of the show, Power Rangers historian, the person who runs Henshin Grid. The greatest yes. Power Rangers blog on the planet, Gerald, the Lavender Ranger, is with us. Yes, indeed. Uh, th thank you for having me on the show. It's a pleasure yeah. to have you, and I hope that during um, our commentary track for Alpha's Magical Christmas, that you know we can we can remember JDF, who this episode is is dedicated to, Jason David Frank, um, friend of the show. I can say I will say proudly. Um, and, uh, let's start the episode. So to start the show, we're going to do the commentary track at the end of the episode because it's only 22 minutes or so. Um, so it's very short. So the first part of the episode is, is a gift to everyone. It is a special surprise. 
And oh no, my faces are blocking the thing. Oh no. I, <laughs> I, I, like, I, like, I like I like I tried to That's format this so good because last time my stuff was being blocked, I still <laughs> failed. Oh man. Do, do oh. side by side. Oh no, you it's got, your time. And go to full screen and you got so it. everyone's getting a surprise this year. And the surprise is in this episode. <laughs> what Whoa. could the surprise be? Morphers. It's gotta be a morpher. I'm wondering. I'm wondering. We're gonna build a uh, Megazord. I don't know. Let's see. Yes. The surprise is we're gonna be attacked by putties. Yeah. We are doing a Whoa! trials of <laughs> trivia. <laughs> what? And Power yeah. Rangers is on the board. We are covering all the topics that have previously been covered by the experts here on Trials of Trivia, How I Met Your Mother, Simpsons, Rocky, Sonic, Friends, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Woo! and Love Power Rangers. Rangers, okay? This is gonna be a super special Trials of Trivia. We're going into the annals of Vundacast history, back to our the roots of our first Trials of Trivia Vundacast 63, our 63rd episode. We're now in our 200s, but that was 63. Steven, I have a problem here. I never agreed to put my title on the line. I didn't say your title was on the line. <laughs> I, like the I never the signed the title. Contract. I don't need to be on the line. I was not consulted on this. I didn't say your title was on the line. I'm cashing in. Money my title's the on the line. Special holiday title. This is this is a Chris. A this is a Christmas. Power Rangers Championship. This is this is different, okay? Power oh, Rangers. This is a totally different title, okay? You're still the Triple Crown Champion, okay? But that means I can still steal it. Okay. Good. Your your yeah. history is safe, okay? Your history is safe. <laughs> all right. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna screw you over like like the Fed, okay? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna job you out. I promise. This is not this is not an elaborate way to just strip you Derek. Like like the you want to put the title of on the their line. title. I love the Christmas title. That would be like I was title. saying. We're going back to episode 63, our first Trials of Trivia. Oh, back shit. when, back when, you, every Trials of Trivia we've done, you guys have always thought that the way I calculate points is very subjective and uh -huh. random, okay? So we're going back to the roots, and this time we have an official scorekeeper, our Vundacast oh. official scorekeeper. Can you reveal yourself, mystery guest? Oh, it's the mystery guest. Oh, what? we have oh my God. Hi guys. Lauren, who was on episode 63, Whoa. Hey. doing the freaking keeping of the score. She is going to try to keep track of these wild scores that we <laughs> are going it. to calculate here. This is going to be fantastic. Lauren, feel Thank free so to much. interject and make fun of anybody you want. <laughs> I, don't know, I always okay. felt like the the arbitrary subjective scoring was one of the most innovative parts of Trials of Trivia. Right, some That's points meant five and no, it's not. three. I was That's the best. That's definitely how you won last time. I yeah, was the best. If we go back, some of the points were really screwed. It was like some points were like worth ten points for an answer, and I'm like, I don't know how you did the math. But okay, this is a totally works. new format. Okay. okay. <laughs> totally new format we just have a, a better scorekeeper this time and points <laughs> but it's still still toss of trivia don't worry about it they're still judging first up is our champion d rock he's going on the hot seat and the first question is for d rock mm -hmm. you guys will need your tabulations for the next question but i'll explain it as it goes are you ready d rock well, that's what the paper's for? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Do I pick a category or? No. Okay. Oh, <laughs> this is your oh, Simpsons shit. trivia question for six points. What is season one, episode one of the Simpsons? This is a Christmas episode. What is the title, d -Rock? This is a it hard is, one. It is Simpsons Roasting on an Open Fire. Whoa. That is correct. Whoa. Ding, ding, ding. Lauren, Whoa. that's six points. He gets six points. I since, know the Simpsons. Hey, since Danny and D Rock have both covered um, two topics before on the special, their, their questions, this question is worth six points. And you'll get another chance for another six point question. 
Now, this next question, Derek will answer it um, audibly, all right? But everyone else will have to answer it on their sheets of paper, all right? Okay. So I'm going to show the question. Then DRock is going to, um, I'm, I'm going to show the question. You will then, all of you will okay. quietly have 30 seconds to write down as much as you can of the question, of the answer, as you know. Of the okay. answer. Okay, the answer of the question is you know. And then after 30 seconds, DRock will have the prescribed time limit of the question to answer it in. Okay? <laughs> and then and then we're gonna tabulate everyone's really score after the round. All right? Okay. So 30 seconds, and then I will give <laughs> DRock the opening to answer there so how do you know we didn't just answer. write it down whatever answer he's just said we this is an honor based system oh, okay. we are honored honor. <laughs> no one's trying to steal an honor. election here okay you're being you're being recorded right now okay we're watching you okay okay name as many simpsons characters as you can people 30 seconds let's go Write down as many seconds. Simpsons characters as you can. That's only for Derek. Derek has 42 seconds. You all have 30 seconds to write okay. down as many Simpsons characters as you can in the 30 second window. The spelling have to count? 10 seconds left. No. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm not writing the last five one. seconds. Wow, shit. When we One second, win. 30, stop. Everyone stop. Wait, what? what? That, was that was 30 way too seconds. Fast. What? That was 30 seconds. I felt so fast. I don't that think that was 30 seconds. seconds Look, it, was 30, right. it was because we no, were arguing during the 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, I, don't I don't think I wrote mad. I know way more characters than this. Oh, boy. Okay. Yeah, I know way more than that. Okay, D Rock, you have 42 seconds. Homer Simpson, Marge Simpson, Bart Simpson, Lisa Simpson, Maggie Simpson, Grandpa Simpson, Marge, no, hold on. Uh, Dr. Hibbert, Apu Nahasapima Petalon. Uh, Don't need full names. Frank, um, fucking, oh my God, this is hard. Uh, Frank is a character? 25 yeah. seconds have elapsed. Comic book guy, um, Millhouse, um, Nelson, uh, the twins, um, uh, Uter, um, <laughs> fucking the Chief Wiggum and Lou and the, uh, um, that's it. Okay. That's you it. Got right. it. How, 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 how many though. points did Derek rock, Lauren? 15. 15 points. All right. I kind of 17 because of the twins. But, 17, right. right. So the twins. I like that. The Different twins counts as one. Yeah. The twins it. counts as one. Okay, and so, I said okay. the twins. Like if I said Sherry and Terry. Terry, then... yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fair. That's being honest. Okay. 16 then. Okay, 16 points plus the six he got before. Everybody count up the names you have on your paper and tell that. Lauren that number. I, I trust. You all I got ten. incorrect answer. I got eleven. I have five. <laughs> ten. I got nine. Okay, who's, wait, who said eleven? This guy. Frank. Who said five? I'll write nine on the chat. Gerald the Lavender Ranger. I, okay. Yeah, so Lavender Ranger five was me. Don't count that. Oh yeah. <laughs> if you guys just... Thanks, D Rock. But still, am I am I the only one that put Santa's little helper on the list? I did too. Come on. I, did. I, did. I, did. I, did. I forgot. It's in the picture. I forgot Marge. Right there. I forgot Marge. The first episode. I forgot. I forgot Maggie right. and Bart, but I wrote. <laughs> All right, Lauren. Do we have everyone tabulated? Yes, we do. Okay. After this round, what are the standings? Uh, we have D Rock in first place with twenty one. Uh, Frank in second place with eleven. Danny in third with ten. Then Gerald with nine and Mr. J with seven. Beautiful. Okay. The next round is going to be a question for the only other human being who has won a Trials of Trivia. Mr. J, you're on oh. deck. 
And the first question is only for Mr. J. So let's see what that is. God, stupid computer. All right. In the film, when Rocky and Adrian are enjoying a Christmas movie, what does Polly accuse Adrian of? 12 points. You can you can say as much you know about the the, the scene as you want to try to find the answer I'm looking for. What That's does okay. Molly accuse Adrian of? Um. Well, like he was he was like complaining about always having to take care of her and stuff like that. Uh, but I don't I don't I don't remember what he accuses her of. I don't know. That's that, think, that was a good question. Okay, so so you, so it's a horrible I, I think, question. It, All right. I think he was just like complaining about her, like um, having to take care of her and not being able to have a life and stuff because okay. of her. Nothing more specific that would have stood out to me as a 21st century audience member. <laughs> this is the last last bit of plank I'm giving you. 21st, 21st century what? Audience <laughs> member. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing about the seed. He means anything modern. The no, turkey? So the, uh, he throws no. away the turkey? <laughs> no. Okay. He's Mr. J. Mr. J has, has whiffed it. He's, he's Why getting, was this so hard? He just it got was, a lariat. He just got a lariat. He is upset that she might have lost her virginity oh, and that she it. is busted. I, I fucking knew it. Okay. Busted. Oh, man. He's upset that she might have already banged Rocky. Oh, come on. And lost her virginity because it's the 70s. I was thinking so I wanted to say, but I couldn't. Polly, the heart of the Rocky franchise and the heart of misogyny itself. This is the question that you chose. Come on. I thought you were a Rocky expert. I thought, bro, I I thought this was like a piece of cake, bro. I thought I handed you a piece of cake. You know what a piece of cake would have been? Name all the Rocky characters. (laughs) <laughs> Bro, this oh, isn't this isn't way harder than my question. The butcher guy. This, this isn't is pumpkin pie. This is way harder <laughs> than D Rock's question. You're crazy. It is. Okay. This is something you should know. This is in the first film. This is core Rocky. Let's move on. Super core right. Rocky. Okay. Right. Similar. Now this next round, everyone's gonna participate for the first 30 seconds, writing down their answer. And then once I open it up. To Mr. J and everyone has written down what they know. Mr. J will go in. So, Wait. So Mr. do I write stuff or am I? I'm answering. No, the you're all verbal. I'm verbal. You can if you want. I did. Orally. In what Rocky? In what Rocky and Creed films is Christmas celebrated or depicted? Thirty seconds. Thirty in, seconds. No, they well, they they think for no. Don't say anything uh, yet, Mr. J. Don't say oh, anything okay. yet. Let them. They have another 20 seconds to think about and write down which specific Rocky and or Creed films there was some depiction or some mention of Christmas. Five seconds left. Okay. Okay. All right. Five seconds left. Say when this time Stop. starts. Stop. You've been talking this whole time. The, the time starts once the question is on screen. <laughs> Time started once the question was on screen. And I knew that I was gonna ask you if you get points off for a wrong Let's, answer. That's a good no, question. No, there's no there's no negative points. We're never this is Christmas. Everyone okay, then you could just write the name of every movie down and you'll get the point. <laughs> well, thank you for finding We're a loophole. You can system. no longer do that. <laughs> honor system. We're only giving oh, points to correct good. answers. Has Mr. J. Don't be don't be no Okay, stop. Mr. J. One minute. Extra points for confidence and detail. Explain. Okay, for sure, Rocky Four because he fights on Christmas Day, and you know you see the robot and he has the hat and they have the Christmas tree in the background, and uh, they play the Chipmunk song over the fire. Whoa. And uh, Rocky Five uh, when Santa Polly comes out. I got one. <laughs> and um, yeah. I think Rocky Three when they have the montage. Uh, where um, Clubber Lang is working out and Rocky's just like buying stuff and one of the scenes in the montage is him and Christmas with the kids and stuff. Even Rocky uh, but besides that, um, I, I don't remember like Christmas depicted in the Creed films though. 
20 seconds, 15 seconds. You've missed one movie that we've already covered. Man, you didn't mention it. I um, didn't mention it. Well, because in Rocky 1, they, they celebrate um, Thanksgiving. I don't remember them celebrating Christmas, though. They were watching a Christmas movie. No, but that was... Time's but that up. was um, They're I'm watching sure a Christmas Thanksgiving, movie. though, because they were making a turkey. They're watching a Christmas movie. I give Mr. J... Yeah, but you can watch a Christmas movie on Thanksgiving. He doesn't. Uh, but it's, it's a connected to Christmas. I'm pretty sure it was That's Thanksgiving. That's celebrating Christmas, Christmas if you're watching a Christmas movie. Why are you arguing with me trying to give you points? <laughs> okay, I'll just say Rocky 1, but you're wrong. It's, that was Thanksgiving. There wasn't Christmas in Creed 1. Was it just cold? Right, it was just cold, right? I put Creed 1 here because <laughs> I haven't watched the movie. Did they have much. a Christmas? I counted, I don't, I counted I don't Creed 1 I remember them Christmas. celebrating Christmas in Creed 1. There's snow. All Rocky I, movies are connected I to Christmas. I confused with, I thought Rocky 4 and Rocky 5 were all one movie. I thought Rocky 5 was the robot one. So I put Rocky 5, but apparently robot, Rocky 4 right? was the robot one. So I'm horrible. I put Rocky 2. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I just put Rocky. Okay, <laughs> so it sounds like Derek has one point. Danny has one point. Lavender Ranger has one point or two points? One. I one. said Creed. Frank? Unless I you're put not Rocky Creed. 5 and Rocky 4. Wait, 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 wait. Two points for did Frank. You say, did you say Creed 1 counts as Christmas? I'm counting it as Christmas. Thank so you. I have one point there. Then I said Rocky 5. That's another point. That's okay. two points. Two points for and you. Did you say Rocky 1 as Christmas or no? Did we decide that? I That's said good. Rocky One. Ha- I'm I'm accepting Rocky One as Christmas. Then I have three, three. three. Give her three, three points. points. Okay. Give Mr. Think J. Stephen watched any of the movies before doing this question. Give Mr. <laughs> J. Twenty-two points. Okay. Let's go. I did research on the internet as God intended. <laughs> <laughs> Or you were in the AI movie and you went all the way to the to the to the speaking spell that um helped <laughs> um, helped Haley um Osmond. <laughs> okay, the next round we're going into Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh. Danny, that's my, that's my forte. You're on deck. Okay. What is the name of the only Christmas show in Buffy the Vampire Slayer's run? What is the episode title? Amends. Yes, yes. Oh, bro, she didn't even flinch. She didn't even <laughs> flinch, bro. That, that, that doesn't like didn't a bonus flinch. point or something. Can we give her a bonus point? That's six points for her. That's six points. Give her another point for not flinching. That was seven cool. points. <laughs> Amazing. I knew <laughs> the fucking Simpsons roasting on an open fire immediately, but nothing about me not flinching. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, there was, there was, there was, there was a brief pod. moment of pause. You're the returning champion, D Rock. Yeah. I'm, I'm only married to one person on Champions this show. advantage. <laughs> now. At the moment. At the moment. <laughs> it's spouse's privilege. Mm-hmm. Okay. And similar to the other rounds, this next question, everyone will have 30 seconds. To answer to the best of their ability. Okay. And right. we are about to go. Name all the big bads in oh, Buffy. There we go. One <gasps> point for each one. Bonus points for details. Answer as much as you can. If you as as uh, if you just know an actor, if you just know a vague name, as much as you can connect to who these characters are, who were big bads in Buffy. 25 seconds. I'm going to give you guys an extra five seconds because this is hard. I have them all in order. This is extra hard. We cool. have 33, have 34, 35. Done. Boom. <laughs> okay. D Rock, did you hit a fat zero on that? Oh, I got uh, Spike. Oh, he got Spike. One point for D Rock. D Rock was coming at the biggest disadvantage, I feel, in that one. Then probably next is Mr. J. Mr. J, how'd you do? So, do I, do I name like all the stuff that I put? Name the big bads. Well, I I, have, have... I also have Spike, but wasn't Angel bad at, at some point too? Yes. Thanks okay. Too. Um. What well, was the guy who plays Doctor Doom in it at all? <laughs> Which Doctor Doom? Guy from the Doctor first Doom. like, uh, Fantastic Four movie. That is Charmed. That actor was in Charmed. 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 Yep. Okay. Damn, okay. I thought he was in both. Oh, Balthazar. What about the devil? Was the devil in here in anyway? No. 
I think that's charmed. That had been charmed. That was a good guess, yeah. though. Right, devil. What about like that? Uh, was Willow bad at any point? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I have three then. Three points. Whoa. Frank, how'd you do? I got Spike, like everyone else, Angel, and Vampires. That's all I got. <laughs> and Vampires. <laughs> So does it count or does it not count? That's 20 yeah. points. Whoa. I'm such a dork at how excited I am. Okay, those are all the easy it. ones. I'm excited. Gerald, too. Gerald hold on. Hard question. Wait, are we Thank giving you Frank two? Go, two point five, three. Three. go full three. Three. Whoa. This is Christmas. Thank you. For letting okay. me go right before Danny, because I know she'll kill me. No, no, okay. Oh, yeah, but Danny still hasn't answered, so I fucked up oh, this okay, already. Danny. And Wait, said no, things no, it's answered. You haven't answered yet. Yeah, but... You just well, wrote down all your answers? I, I, I did it with everybody because I didn't want to cheat. Danny's a G-code. All right, Gerald, you can go. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have the master. I have Spike slash Angelus. I have the mayor. I have Adam. I have Glory. The... the Dark Willow slash the 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 trio, which is correct. Uh, Jonathan, um, Andrew, and oh my god, she killed him. I can't remember. Oh, uh, uh, oh, it's Warren, and the um and the first, of course. How many points is that? Ten. Ten. Solid Woo! ten. Danny, mm -hmm. reveal yourself. Okay, so you have the master, who is the sire of, um, of who's the sire of Darla, who's angel sire. Then second season, you have Angelus. He loses his soul after he has sex with Buffy, and also Spike and Drusilla count there too. You have the mayor in the third season. He turns into a giant lizard, and they blow up the school. And then it's fourth season. You have Adam, who's a robot made by Buffy's um, psycho psychology teacher, um, Professor, I can't remember her name. She's a bitch. She sucks. And then yes. <laughs> um, Five of Glory, Professor God, Wall. who dis is disguised um, in the body of, um, I can't remember yeah. his name, but he's a doctor. Then yeah. you have Six of Dark Willow. She loses, She when she goes crazy, when she loses her lover, Tara. And then seven, you have the first evil who decides that they hate Buffy so much that they're just gonna like eat Sunnydale. That's what I got. Well, how many points is that? I got 10 again. Well, I, 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 I would like to give Gerald an extra two points for, for referencing Angelus. And I would like to give Danny another three points on top of that for making the round go smoothly. Yeah. <laughs> when, when I messed it up. Okay. There's a next. little correction, Danny. I don't want to, but, oh. but, uh, but the mayor had had turned into a snake, not a lizard. Oh. Oh. You know, potato, potato. Extra point for Extra point for correction. Snake dragon, because he yeah, kind of had like the head of a lizard, kind of, but like he was like you a snake, feet. but he was also a dragon. Like, yeah. I don't know. If this comes down to a tie, that may be the deciding factor right there. <laughs> That's true. They did, see, they did say snake. They did say snake, snake, snake when, yeah. they, they, when they found the body under the I saw it recently. Oh. They said snake, yeah. yeah it, was like but it looked like a dragon, but yeah. That's why I said lizard, because I got like, it's kind of, you know, it's Whoa. sort of like a... Yeah. Okay, the next round is one of everyone's most feared rounds in Trials of Trivia. Oh, shit, it's me. It is That's the Blockbuster me. Frank round <laughs> oh, shit. of That's Sonic me. the Hedgehog. Okay? Oh, my God. <laughs> Power oh, in oh, fear. Oh, this first question, as tradition, is just for Frank. Yeah. What is the official series finale for The Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog 1993? Why is it significant? 12 points. Oh man, there's a lot to go in about that. I didn't even oh, watch shit. that show before. Oh, <laughs> but like, I know of it because it's infamous. It was the Christmas episode. It was not only that, it was also the first time we actually got to see the appearance of Sally Acorn. Oh my I God. You were seeing the second show, Sonic Sally M. <laughs> and that was his future love interest. The whole premise of the episode, he was trying to find present for her, I believe. But he didn't really have to. 
Oh my it god. Was fucking amazing. You almost scared me for a second. <laughs> Mr. J, almost... I, I mean, blockbuster guy Frank just took the basketball and I did a it. slam dunk, okay? <laughs> so he nailed it. Uh, he, he gets the full 12 points plus an additional two points. Whoa. For his deep details. All Making right? it go smoothly. <laughs> And I the had next to record it on VHS because it was on the same time as mm-hmm. the Power Rangers. Oh the, my gosh. The Saturday one. It was heavy competition. All right. And this next one is for everybody. Frank, um, you're gonna answer after everyone has written down their answers in the first 30 seconds. So, so no writing. I'll just okay. Yeah, you don't need to write anything. But if you want to write in the first 30 seconds for you know to jog your memory or anything, you you're welcome to. I'm good. All right, and I'm going to show the question now, and the time starts now. Name as many Sonic characters as you can. One <laughs> point each. Bonus points for details. Um, Any universe? Any yeah. Sonic characters, as long as they're Sonic-related. They could be from Sonic Underground. They could be from uh the, the Dreamcast games. They could be from uh the, the Sonic, comics. the Sega Genesis. We have 22 seconds have elapsed. We Wait, have we the comics too? five seconds left. Counting comics, counting everything. Oh, it's over. And the time has elapsed for the general audience. Blockbuster guy Frank, your time starts now. We got Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Julius. We got Uncle Chuck. We got Anti Sonic, Anti Tails, Anti <laughs> Antoine, Antoine the Rocket, Vector, Espio, Charmy. Just throw my paper. Honey the Cat. Gamma, Beta, Omega. You have 22 Omega, seconds left. Eggman, Anti Eggman, Julius, the good version of Eggman. We got Mecha Sonic, Metal Sonic, Knuckles, Linda, Lara Sue, Julie Sue, and fucking. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's just so many names. Five seconds. Even... Uh, Two uh, seconds. That's, uh, that's it. You already beat all of us. So that's all you know. got. How many points did he just machine gun down? I got 38. Oh no, wait, 20. Sorry, 38? 20. And that 20. Was just, oh my god. Whoa. I, I thought I heard Knuckles twice. I could be wrong about that. I, I think he, he mentioned an alternate anti-Knuckles. versions of anti Knuckles. Okay. 28 then. Wow. All right. Mr. J, how'd you do? Uh, I think six. It's it, it's a lot harder to write them down than to just say it. It is. It's longer to write them down. That's, that's a part of the game. Sonic, Tails, Eggman, Knuckles, Shadow. That was Sally one of them? Yeah, there's a Sally. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's six. All right. D Rock, how'd we do? I got Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Shadow, and Robotnik. Just a solid five points, baby. That's a good way to come out of this round. Danny? I did not do well. I got Sonic, Tails. Is the name of the bad guy Dr. Eggman? That's also Eggman an acceptable Ravon. answer. Those names, yeah. Okay. I, I, who is, I just said reverse Sonic. Who's the evil of Sonic? That, that, that counts. <laughs> that counts reverse yeah. Sonic. Is, is there a reverse Sonic who only runs backwards? <laughs> well, not like that. Because Sounds I, like a dance move. Evil Sonic, and, like reverse Flash, and I couldn't think of the name, so I just said reverse Sonic. <laughs> Okay. How many points is, like is that? Song? You could say that it's, it's anti Sonic or Surge. Four points. Like, it, it works. It works. Four points. Lavender Ranger, how'd you do? Did did they drop? Did George? Did George? And they died. lost. Oh Gerald. no! Oh no! Oh no! We oh, went no. too fast. We went too fast. Technical difficulties. Oh yeah. no! The one thing I didn't take into account: the internet. <laughs> They're texting me. They have an internet problem. Okay, so we are on a pause. Oh, no. Things are going great. Reverse oh. Sonic. They'll be back. <laughs> Those are, we got Honey to actually Sonic, Sonic Tails, Knuckles, or Bonding. Think about Reverse Who Sonic. Let's go back to the bad. Um... Who came first, Sonic the Hedgehog or the Flash? The Flash. The Flash. So is Sonic the Hedgehog inspired by the Flash? Kinda, in the sense of the speed. Okay. Hmm. Cause I don't think hedgehogs are very fast. 
So I feel like they have to get them somewhere. They're pretty fast, but yeah. No. They're not Sonic fast. No, no. They roll into little balls. Yeah, I mean, that's the point of Sonic the Hedgehog. That's his, yeah. his thing. You know? But then he's also extremely fast. Right. So, just saying. Okay, I would like to take this break in the game to just quickly say that as you wait for uh, Lavender Ranger to return, there are two of us on this podcast who have some awesome Patreons. Uh, D-Rock has their Patreon ad um, infinitum. Um, I, don't, I guess that's how you one, say it. I don't know. With ones instead of, yeah, ad, ad infinitum. Ad infinitum. Um, but with ones instead of eyes. And they are creating some awesome, cool, spooky, weird, uh, experimental music yeah. on their Patreon. Um, so if you guys want to check that out, please do. And Hi, also, I'm back. I am subscribed. Hi. And one of my favorite Patreons is Lavender Rangers Patreon. Thank you. Where, um, oh no! Oh, oh no! no! All the answers. Just I did no. not see anything. I just did uh, you just spoil? I'm so glad I was looking down. You just flashed I, I already have an idea. I'm brainstorming answers already. Shut <laughs> up, Frank. Okay. So, so you guys um, are so much fun. I I didn't know what happened, but the internet went down for it. Like it fell for hours, and then I got back. So I'm back. I'm sorry about that. That's all right. Technical difficulties affect us all. Okay. So like I was saying, Lavender Rangers Patreon is awesome. I love checking out all of their designs um, for alternate Power Rangers and the comic books they're working on. I love your art and I love to see the the creativity that that you express on your Patreon. I, I suggest also everyone on, to check it out. I'm also on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram and Twitter at Lavender Rangers. Please check those out. Yeah. Okay, so we're back. This next round. Oh wait, time out. We gotta see his answers though. How many yeah. did he get? Did he get them close? Oh, that's uh, right. We haven't I'm sorry answers. to disappoint you, Frank. My answers are like the alligator, the okay. grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> I also have, I also have a, a Sonic and Tails, Amy. Okay, okay Knuckles. Uh huh. And 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 Allie. That's all I have. That's about eight. That's a Seven. solid second place right there. There's, <laughs> a, there's a Sonic grandpa. I, I don't know yeah. this character. Like that guy that he's like like his like his I don't know if it's his grandpa, but he was yeah, like he Uncle was on the Oh no. No, we lost him. No. But he no. he's, he's frozen to the he's light. smiling though at least. Oh no. He's <laughs> happy. This is their round. Goodbye, and they're back. Oh. Guys again. Okay. Oh, he's back. All right. Lavender Ranger's back. We're going to go. Uncle Chuck you're thinking about. That's the character. Yes, Uncle Chuck. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uncle Chuck, the old man Sonic. All right. This next round is the titular Power Rangers round. Uh-oh. Yes, we know. So this first question is for Gerald. Once... They're ready. He has vanished again. Hold I'm on. Wait, sorry, wait, yeah, wait. I had to get a light. I had to move to get a the internet's signal a lot better. Okay, there we go. I'm ready. Okay. Your first question that is just for you. What can nullify the Power Rangers powers Ooh. for 12 points? <laughs> you might have a uh, more you might have like 80 80 more more answers to this question than, than I could have dreamed of. Well, but um I'm, I just recently watched Mighty Morphin season 1 and I'm going by the Power okay, Rangers okay. Christmas specials okay. I have watched. Okay, so for Mighty Morphin it would be for the Green Ranger it was the green green uh the candle the so had affected his his coin. You you can also uh their coin but when i first saw your question i was like this has to be a deep cut because in in the other shows and the comics it's you have to either remove like the morpher or um uh take them off the morphing 
them, 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 the like the actual the, the grid. Grid. It's very hard to like. Okay, this is this is deeper answers than I was. This is a deeper answer than I was looking for. Based on the Christmas specials <laughs> only, <laughs> what can the nullify North Power Rangers powers? The North Pole, I suppose. That is correct. Zordon warns then <laughs> that a cross yeah, current of holiday thing. magic. This is the thing. The that Christmas polarity. specials aren't that popular with Power Ranger fans that are older than. <laughs> <laughs> than a 20, you know? So we don't well, that's why Steven that loves canon. them, I'm sure. We <laughs> don't consider that canon, so... That's not that's canon? Fine. No, but but no, in the not... episode, uh, Tommy says that also the powers of evil don't work. Like, Christmas magic nullifies <laughs> everyone's powers so that only Santa and the great. elves... That's great, but that's if you watch the Christmas specials. A lot of us just skip them. So, <laughs> Santa is canon. Whatever. It's canon. <laughs> okay, he's canon. He's, he's the same guy same universe, that played a mob boss in RPM, and then <laughs> <laughs> Santa joined the mafia. You heard it here first on the phone. Well, he was <gasps> in the mafia. Like now, he's Santa Claus for all, at, at least for all the New Zealand um, um episodes, at least. Okay, this next question is up for everybody. Um, I suggest everyone write down their answers for this. And Gerald, you can answer uh, um, audibly if you don't want to write down your answer. Yeah, audibly, because I don't know what happened to my notebook. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, and the question. Name as many Power Rangers teams as possible. Oh, oh my goodness. Team by team. Character names and colors included for bonus points. You know colors, Danny. You know colors. I'll be audible. I'll be audible. <laughs> you know colors. Uh, you can just name colors. That's part of the answer. I, I made it easy for people sometimes. Wait, so, wait, wait. A lot teams of answers to this question. or names? Bro, I'm... as much Power Rangers data as you can put on a paper. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> as a kid, I used to practice like all the names I would put <laughs> in an order, but I have not done that in a while. So it's been <laughs> longer. The test. <laughs> I Ten seconds. Try, I often try on 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 uh, TikTok, and I get corrected by a lot of other fans. They're like, "You forgot this one. You forgot that one." All right, the time of writing has elapsed. Lavender, what do we got? You have a minute, and I'll give you a minute thirty seconds. So. Okay, I'm gonna go by the I'm gonna go by the teams because um from a minute not gonna cover all the character names. So um Mighty Morphin, Alien Rangers, uh, Zio, uh, Turbo in Space, Lo Lost Galaxy, Lightspeed, um, uh, Time Force, Wild Force, Ninja Storm, Dino Thunder, SPD. Mystic Force, Operation Overdrive, Jungle Fury, RPM, the the Samurai Rangers, the so Mega bad. Force slash Super Mega Force Rangers, Dino Charge, Ninja Steel, Hyper Force, um the the Omega Rangers, um the 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 Solar Rangers, um Ninja Steel, uh Beast Morphers and and Dino Fury. Whoa, beautiful. How many points we got, Lauren? 26. 26 wow. big ones on the board. Mr. J, how'd you do? Uh, Mighty Morphin, Zeo, Turbo, In Space, Lost Galaxy, Dino Thunder, Lightspeed Rescue, Dino Charge, SPD, Ninja Storm, and Time Force. Dino Woo! Charge, does that count? Dino yeah. Yes, Dino Charge, yeah. That's a real. I didn't know. I didn't even know that one. There's a Dino Fury. Dino and, yeah, I missed Dino, Dino Fury. Thunder. And now Cosmic Fury. This is insane. Yes, Cosmic Fury. I forgot Cosmic Fury. <laughs> ah. Okay, Frank, how'd you do? All right, so I got Mighty Morphin Season One team, Mighty Morphin Season Two team, which you know had the whole swapping the powers. Ah, oh, come on. 
Uh, technically, that counts. That has a whole new team, essentially. I think it's a whole team, but only like two more many. characters. Then we got the Alien Rangers. We got basically SBD Team A and SBD Team oh. B. Oh, yeah, no one for, yeah, everyone that forgets counts. these two teams. That's different people. Yeah. Sam Mario yeah. Rangers, Lost Galaxy, Light Space, Turtles, In Space, RPM. Technically, in the comics, the TMNT did become Rangers. Yes, true. Which um. No one mentioned, which that makes me sad. Then we got Lord Draken. Technically, he is a one-man team, unless you count all the variants. <laughs> well, he had, that, he had all that army. I don't think everything. that counts as a team. That's not a team. He had an army. No. Okay, that's a team. I guess an army's a team. He has own. He has own Zord, too. Come on, now. Then we also had the alternate universe, Mighty Morphin, from the movie. That's oh, not yeah, the movie. universe. It's Whoa, the bro. Universe. I didn't think about the movie. I always forget. Yeah, the come movie. on, man. I love Learn it. Yo. The movie. movie counts as a separate team? Yes, how, it's how many years. how many points is that? That's fourteen. Yeah, is that not, is that everything, Frank? You got anything else? Wow, time. I am amazed. I think I think Frank has an advantage in this format because Frank's brain is like uniquely wired <laughs> to, <laughs> to, 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 to to dish out this data and not only dish it out but then bifurcate it into like knuckles, anti knuckles. <laughs> he's able to cut Mighty Morphin into three points. This is insane. <laughs> check your notebook because did you say light speed or lights? I want to check that. <laughs> That's me being a sore loser. <laughs> light speed. Okay, good. I checked. I didn't, I didn't think I made the whole name. Was it Light Speed Ranger? Danny, how'd you light do? Speed Rescue, but I didn't. Hey, I got. I got thing. green. I got pink. Oh, we got color. I got, got color. I got yellow. I yellow. got black and I got red. Then I got Dino Rangers. West Park. Ninja Rangers. Were there ninjas? There were yeah, there was. And for some inexplicable reason, I knew Zeo Rangers. Not kidding yeah. on my paper. Oh, oh Danny. <laughs> Let's go. Danny's got the Zeo Rangers, baby. What's up? I didn't Zio, see this. Zio. This is a Christmas miracle. Give her an extra point for saying Zeo. <laughs> I thought I was making up a word. I'm like, no, I'm pretty sure it's Zeo. D Rock? I have Mighty Morphin, and then I have red, green, yellow, <laughs> black, blue, pink. Yeah. Rita? Is that Rita? a thing? Who? That, that, that is a thing. Rita, Rita is a thing. Okay, Rita. Okay. Yeah, she was a ranger Rita. in the movie. Uh, Rita Repulsa was a ranger? In, 2000... in the 2017 movie. Oh, my yeah. God. 2017 movie, yeah. D-Rock with a deep cut. didn't even know. Boom. I have no idea. <laughs> I was just naming characters. Uh, Zoltan? Is that a thing? <laughs> Zoltan. Well, in- Zoltan uh, is a the, thing in the in film the big. Pilot. In the in the in the <laughs> pilot it was called Zoltar, but in the show Zoltar. it's called Zordon because of the of the of the movie Big because of the copyright. So they okay. Zoltar. Oh. <laughs> Zordon. Wow. Wow. That's deep. That's See, deep lore. learning new things from Lavender Ranger. Deep lore. How many points for D-Rock? Nine if we're counting the last bit. Okay. Mm. I'll, I'm counting it. We'll count All right. it nine. So <laughs> So what is everyone's current standings? Okay, give me a second. Mm-hmm. Okay, so so the next two rounds are How I Met Your Mother and Friends for the rest of Danny and D-Rock points because they've only had a chance to get six points on each of their initial opening questions. Um, so these these there's going to be these two rounds and then there's the last mystery question that will fa- finalize the game. We're almost done. We're more than halfway through. And we're going to know the standings pretty soon. You guys have done a fantastic job. I am I am deeply impressed by everyone's deep nerdiness in the show. <laughs> I also <laughs> forgot to mention at the beginning, that much of- but the winner of this show will get um, twenty-five dollars and/or a movie gift card of that value, or whatever Whoa. type of oh. receiving, whatever type of thing they want. If they want, you know, an AMC gift card or bus.net AMC gift card. If they want just a, you know, Blockbuster Frank, you know, gift card, and that's fine. <laughs> what do you buy with a Blockbuster Frank gift card? 
He has a lot of good shit. I, I think I have that one state that has a blockbuster. You could go there. That's true. Okay. There's one left. Oh, Lauren the scorekeeper. She has exciting news, I can tell. <laughs> well, it's pretty, we got a pretty clear front runner, and that's Frank with 72. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> How did I get to 72? But at the time when you named all the Sonic characters, that's <laughs> <what I'm saying. laughs> if, if, if I went harder, it would have been over. <laughs> but I chose not to. In second place, we have Gerald with 67. Whoa. I'm honored. <laughs> I didn't think I had that many. I was like, oh, I should have named the, the individual Rangers. Rangers. I should have, <laughs> I should have named the individual Rangers. <laughs> then in third, we have Mr. J with 50. Let's Whoa. go. Very nice. Fourth, we have Danny with 48. And then we have D-Rock with 38. The champ is in last place. Let's 38. go. His title is not on the line. Their title is not on the line. I don't want to put the title. That's why you do the title is not on the line. This is the Christmas champ contention. This is, this is Christmas champion. Okay? okay. This is holiday champion. This is the Power Rangers title. All right. The next round is going to D Rock, who is in last place. But in fairness to D Rock and Danny, who are in dead last, they have not had a full round of points. So. It could all change right now. Oh. A, uh, I can't even read it. Wait, it on. Fill in the blank. In How Lily Stole Christmas, Barney teases Ted by calling him blank. Three points. Later in that episode, it is revealed that Ted's actual middle name is blank, which is a predominantly female name for the second three points. This is a two-part question. I don't go easy on the champion. Okay, the first part of the question, I was like, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? But then the second part, I realized what you're doing here. So <laughs> the first part of the answer is Ted Vivian Mosby. Whoa. The second part of the question is Evelyn, Ted Evelyn Mosby. With an extra point for confidence. I oh, no. just watch that. It. I have never... I've watched the show, but I, I didn't know that. I've Ted, Vivian, Mosby, and Evelyn. Instant 12 points for D-Rock. I just watched that episode. So. Perfect. Okay. And now the next question is up for grabs for everybody. Okay? okay. Yeah. So write it down on your paper. Okay. Don't say it out loud. And then D-Rock will get the allotted time with which to answer. Let me... Bust out my stopwatch, and there we go. Who is, who does Barney think his father is? Who is Barney's doppelganger? Name, oh famous god. roles of Neil Patrick Harris. Yes. Two points each. Oh my god. You have. I gotta write this down. You guys have 15 seconds left. I'm gonna give you guys another another five seconds in the general. You guys look heated. Okay, I'm calling time. D Rock, it is now your prescribed time to answer. Okay. Barney thinks his father is Bob Barker. Correct. <laughs> because his mother he asks his mother who his mo who his father is, and he's watching the prices right, and she points and says that guy. Ooh, 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 that's, that's Barney's crazy. doppelganger. We thought it was a cab driver, but it turned out to be Barney himself. His actual doppelganger is Dr. Spangler, a fertility expert. Oh my god. <laughs> Mind blown. Uh, other famous roles of Neil Patrick Harris. I don't know what his name was in Starship Troopers, but also... Okay, we'll take that. We'll take it. Also, Neil Patrick Harris in the Harold and Kumar movies. Okay, there's three that's points there. Three points. Or six points. There you go. And... There's a family guy where he says that Neil Patrick Harris got the role of Barney based on his portrayal of himself in Harold and Kumar, but I don't know if that's true. Okay, I'm calling time. 
Uh, I he got the full four points for Bonnie Zobelganger. He gets the full six points for who Barney Father is. Um, by yeah. my map, he gets uh six points for for the Harold and Kumar films. Another two points for um the the thing. The thing. The thing he just said. <laughs> the thing they just said. And I'm gonna give them give them an extra ten points for for how I met your mother's details and Neil Patrick Harris details. I'm surprised you didn't mention the analyst, which we just oh. uh, saw we just covered oh my God. on our last episode of the Vundacast where we talked about Matrix Resurrections. Totally I put that on okay. my list. Okay, Danny, how how many points did you get? I got one. I named the analyst. We saw Doogie I Hauser. Said, you could have said Doogie. Who does Barney think his father is? I said David Hassel. <laughs> 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 I'm guessing. That's a good one. Okay. Frank, how'd you do? I, I want to be blunt. <laughs> I put for my answer. I put Danny's answer and D-Rock's answer is my answer. <laughs> you you did you literally Bro, just write Danny's answer and D-Rock's answer? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't zero points. That's zero points. That doesn't count. It does. Yeah. <laughs> it should count. I was confident. Did you just call it friends? We're talking about how I met your mother. I thought. Well, oh, then never mind. <laughs> I don't know that show. It took too long. <laughs> Negative points. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, Mr. J, how'd you do? I have no idea who Barney thought his father was. I put William Zabka. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a good storyline. That's a good guess. It could um, be it's blonde. Other famous roles, I put Doogie <sighs> Hauser and the guy from the White Castle movies. <laughs> the guy from the White Castle movies. I didn't remember his the name Harold in the White Kumar. Castle movies. Harold I didn't Kumar. know it was Neil Patrick Kumar. Harris. Kumar. Uh, I'm going to give him one point for the for that one. He doesn't get full Come on. He was the one guy point. from the White Castle movie. <laughs> Yeah, but it's very, it's okay. very he didn't have to say about this the name of the guy from Starship. Gerald? Okay, the first two, no idea. The last one, uh, 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 Boogie Hauser, Harold Correct. Kumar, and that NBC show that was sh- short-lived with, um, with uh, Tony Shalhoub. <laughs> Tony Shalhoub show will get one point, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're remembering Tony Shalhoub. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was on NBC. I think they were like insane or something. I don't remember. Now the penultimate rounds for Danny's uh, final batch of, of solo points. All right. Danny, what does Ross dress up as for Christmas? Holiday armadillo. <laughs> that was quick. The <laughs> holiday armadillo. Can you explain Hanukkah? Can what does it have to do with anything? I don't. You have to explain. Uh, that's the point point of the episode. Basically, what happens is Ross really wants his son to learn about Hanukkah, but his son <laughs> is like, "I like Christmas." So then Ross is like sad. So then Ross tries to get a Santa costume because he's like, "Well, whatever. I'm gonna make my kid happy." But then he waits <laughs> for the last minute. So he can only rent an armadillo costume. <laughs> so he's the holiday armadillo. And then Chandler shows Ooh. up because he got to borrow a Santa costume from a guy at work. And now he's Santa. And so his son is like, yay, Santa. And poor Ross is really sad. But then Chandler and Santa tells him, well, why don't we learn about Hanukkah from the holiday armadillo? So then he gets to tell him all about Hanukkah and he gets to learn about Christmas and Hanukkah and he learns about his two different cultures and it's it's a sweet Christmas episode. I don't because that picture looks like they're about to fight. Yeah, he's gonna fight him with his claws. Yes. Rita Repulsa is gonna throw down the magic and make the holiday armadillo grow. Bro. And it's gonna destroy the city. My mouth like on dance or on prance or no, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. Now for the group, 30 seconds. Okay. Name actors that okay. appeared on Friends. They could be guest roles. They could be the main Friends actors. 
actors that were on Friends. Friends had a lot of guest stars. A lot of the people that uh, that some people banged end up on the show. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, so there's a, a plethora of names to choose from for points here. Danny, obviously, you'll get extra points for details. <laughs> you guys have 15 seconds left. Oh, God. Um, oh, my gosh. Hold on. Danny, you have, you get to answer audibly. So I know, but I'm writing things down. I, okay. And everybody, time's up. Oh, I wrote an A. <laughs> I just stopped at an A. All right. Danny. What do you got for okay. your answer? Who I have is, okay, I have Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt played um, a character that made fun of Rachel in high school. He hated Rachel because he used to be bigger or like dorky and then he lost weight. And then she started like flirting with him. I think it was like a Thanksgiving, but she didn't know that he was like, he used to be cute, whatever. Yeah, so he hates her. Then Robin Williams, and I can't remember, it's the guy that, was in when Harry met Sally, and I just can't remember their his Billy name Crystal. right now. Or, what? Who? What? Uh, Billy. Lil Billy. Billy Crystal. Crystal. Thank you. Robin Williams and Billy Crystal. One time, two random guys sitting on a couch at the coffee shop, crying and just doing improv for like five minutes, and it was really funny. Yes. Reese improv. Witherspoon and Christina Applegate both played um, Rachel's sisters. Thirty oh seconds left. Her younger about that. sister, Christina, was her. I think her older sister, Julia Roberts, played a character that. Chandler embarrassed was embarrassed by Chandler when she was a kid, and so she flirted with him, took him to a bathroom, took his pants down, and stole his clothes as revenge. Yes. That's what I got. Whoa. <laughs> very Whoa. impressive. Very impressive. I'm gonna give an extra 10 points to details on whatever score Lauren has here. Okay. I had six. So 16. 16 big points. Let's go with. Frank, Frank, show you weren't even born, probably. All right, so I went Jerry Seinfeld and Raymond. <laughs> what? Ah! Seinfeld and Raymond. I'm pretty sure they cameoed. I'm his, pretty sure they cameoed. His Sonic oh. advantage is getting nullified in these that, rounds. It did not happen. <laughs> that last <laughs> Sonic. Nothing to do with Sonic. <laughs> I don't want to think of Sonic. I just I never watched. They would Friends. never let Seinfeld on that show. He was their rival at the yeah. time. Their sitcom yeah. rival. You don't know Jennifer Aniston, Frank? <laughs> no. Jennifer oh my Aniston. goodness! Oh, my God. oh boy! I've, oh no! I've just think a great friend for this. Have come out. Friend, oh, yeah, you you could have said you you could have said former WCW champion David Arquette. That would have been a legitimate answer. <laughs> oh, I forgot okay. that one. Come on. All right, D D Rock, how you doing? I've got Bruce Willis, Jennifer Aniston, Giovanni Ribisi, who played oh, yes. who played oh, Phoebe's movies. brother. Whoa, yes. detail! Oh shit, half brother. Brad Pitt, David Schwimmer, Matt Perry. Six. Whoa, solid answer. Give him an extra two points for the deets. Cool. On Rabisi. Mr. J. Um, all right. Uh, Brad Pitt, uh, Courtney Cox, Jennifer Aniston. Uh, I, don't, I didn't remember David Schwimmer's name. I just said Ross. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't count. <laughs> Come on. Even though Aisha you just remembered Tyler. it right now. Actors. Aisha Tyler. Ross is an oh, actor. Oh, deep cut. Aisha Tyler. Oh, Aisha. Bruce Willis. Uh, Matthew Perry. Nice. Is Matthew Perry and Ch Chandler Bing the same thing? Yes. 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 Well, that's all I have. <laughs> you put Matt Perry and Chandler Bing. And Chandler Bing. <laughs> like Chandler Bing is an actor that appeared in the show and not a character. I love it. <laughs> I hope I can cast Chandler Bing one day in something. He'd, he'd be great. <laughs> Me too. He'd be great. You'd be great. I want season two Chandler Bing, please. Or there, is there... Chandler Bong. That's a deep cut. Yes. <laughs> I was just going to say there's an Bong. actor named Chandler Bong. Chandler Bong. Chandler Bong. Chandler Bong. Like a porn actor. That would be funny. Lavender? Only yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Jennifer Aniston, uh, Brad Pitt, um, Matt LeBlanc, uh, uh, 
Tom Ellick. And then I was gonna write the rest, but I just wrote an A. I I blanked. <laughs> I'm looking at them and I can't. That's a good one though. Tom Selleck's a good one. Monica's Monica's boyfriend, so Richard. Sexy. Oh my god, Richard, so sexy. <laughs> Richard was very sexy. Okay. An extra I'm two not points. Into daddies, but that daddy, please. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, an extra two points for daddy mustache details. Okay, great. I love it. <laughs> daddy mustache. Daddy mustache. I'm all for it. I almost want to give an extra point for daddy mustache. <laughs> daddy mustache. I, I am on the board now. That's also a good porn name. Daddy mustache. Yes. <laughs> it does sound pretty I'm pretty sure somebody has that one. <laughs> okay. Well, speaking of porn, like that happened to Phoebe. Like her. her That's right. Phoebe her twin. Her, tw her twin sister Ursula like, used her name. Oh, yeah. And she dated Sean Penn. That was another one. Who say the vampire snare? <laughs> okay. A, what are the current point standings before right, our I last round? Tabulate. Ufe. Our Vampire. last round. Actually, no, don't tabulate. Let's do the last round. Okay. Right, last fine. round. Math stinks. Hey, I'm a math teacher. <laughs> it could be anyone's game. Math stinks, but it's necessary. Yes. The necessary. Right. Everyone is going to write down for this one. This is all a group question. Is everyone ready for the last um, round? Yes. Of the trials of trivia. Ready for the comeback. Name as many Christmas or holiday based characters you can. Bonus points for creativity. Whatever arbitrary time limit I wrote is wrong. Not three. I'm going to give you guys a full minute. Thank you. Starting now. Creativity. We have talked about all the most wonderful holiday specials in all of TV and cinema. Um, and we have arrived at the final round of Trials of Trivia. 20 seconds have elapsed, 40 seconds remaining. And here we are. And, and I, we're gathered by this hearth. Is it a hearth or a hearth? Is it a hearth? Hearth. It's a hearth. hearth. Gathered by this hearth. <laughs> hearth. Yes. Hearth, I just died in your arms tonight. It I must have been something you said. Does Die Hard kill? Maybe. Creativity. Christmas or holiday based characters. We have 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left in the trials of trivia. Five seconds. Uh, I... Three seconds. <laughs> and time is up. Okay. Our time has expired. Everybody. This is the hardest part is who won? <laughs> Figuring out who won. This is the hardest part, which is why I'm so happy I have Lauren here. Thank you so much, Lauren. Yay, Lauren! For if keeping, I missed a point or two, don't kill me. <laughs> for keeping track of the nonsense. There will be no murders here. Can I go first because I just really am excited to tell you all what the first fucking name I wrote down was. <laughs> <laughs> the first one. Steven? You you have the freeway. First, first thing I thought of, Santa Butthead from Beavis and Butthead Do Christmas. <laughs> who has Beavis as a reindeer and is whipping him every time he feels like it. <laughs> My goodness. Then I have Santa Claus, the Grinch, Cindy Lou Who, Frosty the Snowman, Fred Claus, who oh, is the brother yeah. of Santa Claus. That shouldn't count because that movie's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> that, that counts extra because I've seen that movie a million times and it's <laughs> terrible, but I still watch it because it's amazing. I know. You love it so much. It is a meditation on the corporatization of Christmas and on family and on <laughs> why good kids do naughty things but i, I just remember the memory of us seeing that movie and laughing at it so hard and making so many jokes the audience started laughing more at us than the yes. movie that's what i remember. one of my favorite cinematic experiences ever <laughs> us heckling the movie made more people laugh than the actual movie good times uh buddy the elf rudolph the red-nosed reindeer George Bailey of It's a Wonderful Life. Dang, you're killing this. The Krampus. You're killing this. Kwanzaa Bot 
from Futurama. <laughs> and the Futurama. Hanukkah ghost also from Futurama. And that's as far as I got. Uh, Wait, how does that count Christmas. as Christmas characters? That's Hanukkah. I would, holiday, I wish that holiday, or Christmas. holiday or Christmas. Oh, okay. I thought it was Christmas mm-hmm. characters. I, I wish you would have thrown in Waffle Butt. That's the only one I'm missing. Uh, Waffle Butt. Oh, my God. How did I forget Waffle Butt? All right. Uh, next up, uh, Frank, you want to go Ooh. next? I know you have kind of a tight schedule. All right. So check this out. We got the the classic of all Christmas characters. We got Santa Claus himself. That has to be there. We got Will Ferrell as Elf. We got have Elf. We got Rudolph, Jack Frost, The Grinch, his companion Max. We got Dancer, Prancer, Felix. I, can't remember Yo, the other I, don't, know. This I don't know the name of the other reindeer. We got Kevin from Home Alone. I can't nice. remember a single character from Die Hard, but one of them has to come, but it'll come back to me later. <laughs> Rossi the Snowman, Chewbacca, and Boba Fett. Woo! If you count oh. Life Day from Star Wars. Oh, so that's the yeah, is the that Star Wars equivalent of Christmas. That's the type of creativity I'm looking for. Of course it is. All right. 13. Lauren, 13 points. Lavender? I have uh, uh, a <laughs> Santa Claus from the Santa Claus. I have a uh, Tinsel, Holly, and Buddy from the Santa, the Santa Clauses. I have a uh, Rudolph, Frosty, uh, Dancer, and and Prancer. And I forgot yeah. if it was Blitzen or Plinzer. I had that same problem. <laughs> Donner and Blitzen. Donner and Blitzen. There you go. Yeah, I'm sure Santa just mumbles the the names and they just do it. And they don't really <laughs> like Blitzy, you do it. Let's go. They had new names in in this in this Santa clauses, but I didn't remember that. I just started recently. Well, I learned. Class. I was I was looking up um stuff about the names of the reindeer because I was trying to figure out why they named one of the reindeer Vixen, yeah. and there's no real reason. Um, it was, book, it was right? written in eighteen. It was in written in eighteen twenty three by this one guy. He's basically the whole reason we have this all idea, this idea of Christmas and the reindeer, and he just made up these names. The only two names that have changed and have kind of a significance um, beyond just like you know meaning fast or something are Donner and Blitzen, and they used to be. I think it's like Dunder and Blitzen. I don't know. Yes, it's, it's yes. A, the, and it meant thunder. It. Blitzen. Thank you. And it meant thunder, thunder and lightning. Thunder and so, lightning again. Yeah. Which also means fast, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Danny, what are your answers? I totally whiffed this question. Like my brain, whatever. It's just fine. I Rudolph, Buddy the Elf, Santa Claus, Kevin McAllister from Home Alone, the, and Cindy Lou Who. And that's all I got. And I yeah. completely like blanked out. Six. Beautiful. Very sad. Boo. I should have put the mean one. <laughs> oh, I just saw that movie recently. It was fantastically bad. Mr. J? I go so far as to say fantastic. But no, it was I... fun. It was fun. Did Frank say fantastically bad or fantastic? It was a little bit of both. Oh, the heat <laughs> miser. I totally forgot about the heat miser. But the ending is fantastic. All right, Mr. J, what do you got? All right, I, I wrote Santa, uh, Elf, uh, the guy from Christmas Vacation. <laughs> the Griswolds, yeah, that counts. The Griswolds. Our Griswolds. Uh, I wrote Santa Polly. Nice. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for people to get people they've already referenced and just retroactively add them into this list. You could have gone to your previous papers and just check the ones. Oh no, I could have put the holiday armadillo to add into the Christmas uh. four. Oh, no. That's the creativity I was looking for. What else you got, Mr. J? I had Rudolph. Uh, I had the Heat Miser. Oh, I forgot the Heat Miser. I had Jack Frost, Michael Keaton. Yes. Whoa. Die Hard. I just put Die Hard. <laughs> <laughs> I put Rocky Five. <laughs> I put Sickle, the robot from Rocky Four, because he had a little Santa hat on. Okay. And then I had Santa's little helper. Santa little helper. Yeah. He incorporated okay. everyone. From the- Nobody mentioned the Nutcracker, though. I'm going to say nice. 11. That's at least 55 counting. points. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to have to count Die Hard as a character? Are we counting Die, die Hard as one is character? is the greatest character of all time. Yeah, because Mr. Die Hard, I mentioned it first. I was the original. 
I, I I'm not gonna give any points for Die Hard. I would give points oh, for John McClane. On. I'd give points for Hans Gruber. I'd Nakatomi give Plaza. Points. Hans Gruber. Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> sure, Nakatomi Plaza is a character. Okay. Nakatomi. Give me a point for Nakatomi Plaza. Die Hard's not a character. All right, half a point for Nakatomi Plaza. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, my, the dogs are uh, they're running out of the patience. All right, Lauren, okay. who won? I got to calculate and then we'll be good. <laughs> Time for tabulations. Na, 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 Time for the important na, na, na. stuff. So I don't think, na, 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 na. I'm pretty sure Danny is not going to join us to watch Alpha's Magical oh, Christmas. Rusty. It's going because great. Because she would rather not and she has to bake. That's okay. So, I'm sorry. We'll miss you. I picked him up because he wanted to fight. Oh, okay. Hi, Rusty. Be if the holiday rusty. Don't be angry. To tap out for the commentary, I understand, but I'm psyched to watch Alpha's Magical Christmas. I'm um, down to watch as long as I can. The voice my ride is on my I, I was like so nervous about this Zoom that like I was like stressing out. My hands were freezing all day. Like Danny thought I was like having a nervous breakdown. <laughs> like yes. I see up- now why you rejected all my ideas for this podcast. But you should have just said, you should have just said, yeah, go what, talk about whatever you want and just let me think. I did. I did. I did kind of say that. I just, I, know, my fingers. I, hope I, I wanted to. <laughs> you, said, you said Christmas is about Jesus. <laughs> you know, I was actually, actually going to put down Jesus as one of the characters. I wasn't. Oh, sure. oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, and I'm his friend, Jesus. I don't know if I should know. It's religion. I don't know. Bro, you could, Frank could have dissected Jesus into 80 points if he worked him right. As yeah, right. As the There's reason so many Jesus. Jesus is pleasing. Anti-Jesus. Metal Jesus. <laughs> Don't baby forget baby Jesus. Jesus. Mecca Jesus. Was there a Mecca what Jesus? About, what about Buddy Christ. Christ? What about Ripped Jesus? Jesus? Christ. Have you guys, have you ever guys ever seen the portraits of ripped Jesus? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Look, look it up on the now. internet. There's literally, know. there's literally one of him like super muscly and like Breaking the cross with his strength. <laughs> what about He's Jesus like Christ on the Superstar. cross, like breaking his like a cross flying? Oh my god! All right, ready when you guys are. All right, let's do it. Hold on, wait. Why is Neil Patrick Harris oh, oh, oh. randomly up? I'm gonna go backwards because yeah, I was gonna say yeah. Rip Jesus. In fifth place, we have Mr. J with sixty-eight point five. Oh. In fourth place, we have Danny with seventy-seven. Yeah. And third, we have Frank with 85. What? Second, no. we have what's Lavender Ranger with 87. Yes, yes, you got it. And in first place, we have D-Rock with 100. No. Fred's I, I, I don't know shit about Fred. I'm sad. Dang it. <laughs> I'm so sad. Out I'm of not- nowhere. Out of nowhere. I, I thought I was going to be like last. I thought I was going to be last. From last place to first place. Was so worried they didn't want to put their championship on the line. And then somehow came back and smoked everyone. The last couple questions. It was definitely Shameful. Oh. Shameful. Yeah. See, see, I don't rig trials of trivia. You I'm don't. Rig. It's rigged. I it's don't rig. rig. Stole the election. George, George, you <laughs> won the first one. So if it's rigged, he rigged it for you also. I don't know what Terrible. you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start watching Friends now. That this is a good <laughs> thing. I don't know Friends. <laughs> oh no! Next, next trial of trivia has got to be a whole trivia, new set change of topics. Categories, new categories, new categories. We I think it helped that I knew start. Friends and Buffy. Yeah. I didn't know. That's a weakness. How I met your mother at the rest. No, we gotta start. We gotta start Usually, it's we each choose one. We'll pick a new one. Oh, we'll do it in secret. We'll each chill, go confide to Steve, our new category. I'm going to pick West Wing next, guys. Fuck you. Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, would, you would and everyone would hate you. I'm not watching yeah. that. <laughs> I literally picked How I Met Your Mother to not be an asshole. Like, I figured that's mainstream enough last time. I was like, let me just pick that because I know a shitload about it. I've seen it like 13 times all the way through. Bro, I'm going to pick something obscure. You guys are going to hate me for it. <laughs> no, be nice, guys. Be nice. All right, I'll, I'll pick, pick something like Dragon Ball. Then. I'll pick something obscure. I'll pick like CW's 1999's Roswell and you'll all be <laughs> <laughs> Danny, 
I think you and I are the only ones who know anything about that. Exactly. Anna Roswell. I'll Anna pick Roswell. some obscure AO3 fan fiction that's like, oh. Oh, my fandom is like so popular. Uh-huh. I've read it three times, but you'll know nothing. <laughs> hey, Steven, is it time yet? It is time to watch Alpha's Magical is it Christmas. Is time? Woo! Oh, snap. It's I want to pop time. out, guys. I got to go, too. Danny's out. Lauren's out. Thank I you so you much. Like, yeah, we're we're go the you guys are the best. Much love, Steven. Thank you. 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 Frank, are you out, too? Not right now, but soon, though. But I'll stay with you guys for as long as I can. OK. My ride is on the way, but I don't know how long it'll take him to get to me. Let's start morphing up. And now, I can't believe I won that. Alpha's magic. I can't. Too, I can't believe you won it either. <laughs> bro, that's some. That's some bullshit. Unify your title, bro. I'm upset. <laughs> I can't believe you won it either. Oh my god, oh, that's insane. Pull. Okay, I'm about to press play on Alpha's Magical Christmas. I have a question. Has anyone actually seen this stuff before? I saw it before I chose it. Yeah. And I know, and I'm warning everyone. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. Yes. This is probably the worst episode of the Power Rangers ever. Well, there are other ones that are also Christmas related, but yes, it has to be like the top. Yeah. And I originally was going to do both Power Rangers Christmas specials, but I was originally going to have Andres on here too, and he wanted to watch that with, with, with Lydia. So I'm saving that for a future year. Okay. All right. So we're just doing alphas. And I'm about to press play. Boom shakalaka. Straight from someone's VHS. (laughs) Nice. To your screens. You guys hear audio okay? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So that's too soft. That's it was the, the volume was perfect before. Is that okay? Yeah. Did you guys know that Alpha was a, it was a woman in the suit? Well, it's mostly women. I did not know that. It's Christmas. But the voice was a man. Surprising to replace Alpha with that like New York Alpha. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, that was in Turbo. That was to be more hip, I guess. Yeah. Can you put on closed captioning or no? No, I got no closed captioning. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. So, for well, some reason, Zordon can see everyone on the planet, including Come Santa. On, there are no you secrets win. from Zordon. Oh <laughs> my god. Yes. And so, what I had read, Lavender, was that they wanted uh, to, like, make Alpha a more popular character. <laughs> so they thought they could make Alpha cooler if they gave him a Christmas special. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, Lord. Christmas special theme. I mean, notoriously the coolest thing in here. Ay, 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 ay. They want to make Alpha cooler. They should have made him a wrestler. Yes. <laughs> I agree. I was 11. They should have put him through a table. And I Alpha thought, versus wrestling. like, Alpha. I thought Alpha was, like, for, like, the kids. Like, the kid character. For, like, the younger kids. I mean, I didn't hate him. But I, I didn't hate him either. I didn't see the appeal. I want to see Macho Man versus Alpha. I mean, like I I I I that was like he's Latin because he goes I, I, I. <laughs> so, as, so as you can see for some reason this Christmas special is predominantly filled with songs of children singing Christmas songs yes and not wow. I don't want to knock the children I don't want to knock the children but oh, we yeah. could have gotten some more you know professional I guess <laughs> yeah. I mean, I get, I get why they do that. That's why I get to sound like, you know, like just kids and not like a children's choir. Yeah, a children's choir. I mean, like Home Alone also had a children's choir. It sounded so great. I'm not knocking it though. I'm not saying. <laughs> it's so beautiful though. So I a mountie. Like, here. Things more Christmassy than a mountie. A mountie out of nowhere. He always gets his man. 
They didn't film this in Canada, right? This is California, right? Oh, it was always America. It was always in LA. It was, um, I recently did a TikTok to uh, Ranger Lo Locations, at Ranger Locations, at has detailed almost all the locations on our Rangers. We're still, we're still trying to do everything. But from the US, from Australia, from New Zealand, Canada, and Japan. So now here's the magical feat where Zordon takes random children, children. from their homes yes. Yo. on oh, Christmas Eve. Yeah. 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 Come yeah. hang yeah. out yeah. with yeah. Alpha. They didn't call the parents. They didn't say, hey, can children. you for the Christmas special to be with a robot? And the kids, just, the kids just go random. with it. The kids are like, hey, it, Alpha, yeah. what's up? It's a tiny robot. Holy fuck, they just out of children. our home. Or my really, like, yeah. the kid on the right, the, little, the kid with the blonde hair and the red shirt, he's not openly hugging. He's just standing on the side, looking kind of freaked out. That's it's like a little weird. It's just weird. It's hey, just Johnny, just, what did you do while we were celebrating Christmas? Oh, I was hugging a robot with a group of people. A group of children. Oh my God, they just keep stealing children. <laughs> they, they, they teleport in and they hug him again. Yeah, Every a group time, hug, everyone touch. Everyone's like trying to get at it. No one's freaking out, but yeah. There's no one going around and and hitting like buttons, a button right? or trying to figure out what is that huge head above us. So bad. Wow. There's, the, there's no, no huge head. I'm what, sorry, what guys. What is going on? What is what is Rita Repulsa doing right now? What is going on? She's taking a nap. I don't think there's any conflict in this based no, on. No, there's no movie. conflict whatsoever. Oh no, there's no, no, Rita, there's no Sarah. There's well, no, there's, there's there's conflict. There's the conflict that's in every Christmas story. Will Santa deliver the presents successfully? You know. Oh, there is. I don't remember. Oh, wait, wait, there's no <laughs> Green Ranger. I have, guys, I have a theory. What if all these kids here are potential future Ranger candidates? That's well, why they're all morphed here. We could just. They're like they Jedi. They just kidnap them when they're children. And they watch them. They make them the child soldiers. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow, he has light beams. Where did those get so were strong? Christmas Boom. lights in the black. Guys, that stuff in the black, those are actual Christmas lights they had in the command center set. So just so, adding so, more of them. So technically, it's always Christmas time at the command center. It's yeah. always Christmas time in the Amen. So I don't know why does Alpha only get this magical power during Christmas time where he can just <laughs> um, he zap has, shit? He has uh, teleported stuff uh, before, like a lamp. Um, when you go, that was from the bamboo. The most, the most North Pole. The range North Pole. It's Christmas time. Listen to Frank. He's saying that in the episode of. <laughs> Oh, the one where we had the imposter monkey guy. Yeah. Alpha tell you know, he teleported, and then Billy is like, Alpha, you shouldn't be doing this. Oh my it's god, I have, really right. I have exactly. to turn down the movie audio because we're already six minutes in, and already these children's voices <laughs> are, ready <laughs> are, ready. are grating on me. Yes. <laughs> because they just make the songs feel more repetitive than they are. Yeah, because also, they chose instead of having the whole full song, just snip it and then go back to the the song they already played. <laughs> I'm vibing so much. So imagine you're a kid in the '90s and your mom's like, "I got this sweet Power Rangers Christmas special for you." They're like, "Hiya, I'm moving." Oh yeah, let's go, fucking ninjas! Nope, oh, but no, no fighting, no ninjas. I remember no. being Damn so it. bored that my mind just kid just wink, guys. Did that snowman just wink? Yeah, it did. Oh my god. Also, I'm not gonna lie, low key, this is like our first time I really ever paid attention to Elvis' character. This special was that special. I never paid attention to him until I saw this Christmas special. Right? I don't think I've seen this you, one before. But like, I was into more into is like, is like Tommy and Kim gonna get together and stuff like that. <laughs> Are they knocking boots? Hmm. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, no, not another song. <laughs> what is Man, this? Man. This is my jam, dude. Barely a minute of plot. 
time to the next song. There's no plot. We in the trivia, if we mentioned Alpha and Zordon, would that have counted for the Christmas characters? It would have. Oh, man. Oh, I was man. looking for creativity. That would have counted. I was thinking about it, but I was like, um... How genius would it be if somebody remade this as a horror movie where somebody gets <laughs> their child stolen? What the fuck happened to my kid? I'm sure yeah, they, they have to rock off a lot of times. I'm sure they have. It's okay. Daddy Zordon's going to take care of them. <laughs> the, the, the genius of Power Rangers that I think this... Can shut up? That there I think this, even... this special capture uh, actors accurately captures is that always a third of Power Rangers is filled with some sort of reused footage. In this case, Christmas yeah. stock footage Christmas instead stock of footage. like Toei footage. Yeah. Also, in exactly. this case, 100% is just reused stock footage. <laughs> it was 100% American. I, I, I don't recall a lot of the. Uh, of a lot of the Doom Ranger footage. Wow. Wait, where's the oven though? Where did he pull those out of? That's his own magic. Come out of him, man. He is an oven. Are those cookies inside of him? Um, wait, wait, wait. Is he making the kids make the cookies? Is that where's that the table from? That's what it's I want to know. Where got that table from? He zapped it in. He's forcing those kids to cook for him. Okay, here we go, guys. Oh. Jason, okay, Billy, Zach, Tommy, Trini, um, okay, Aisha, Rocky, Adam, Kat, uh, okay, Tanya, okay, um, wait, what Ray, if they're all here before they got over? Um, okay, Justin, okay, Zane, Andros, uh, okay, Kathy, Ashley, uh, Carlos, and TJ, um, Okay, Damon, Leo, yeah. okay, Kendrick, and Jerome, and Maya, and Mike, and Kai. Then Carter. Oh my God, they should, they should do a special edition of Alpha's Magical Christmas, and just do kids' versions of Rangers from future seasons, and <laughs> digitally insert them into this episode. Oh, that would yeah. be hilarious. And Kelsey, Chad. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. Um, Hello. Um, Dana and Ryan. Then Jen and Wes. <clears throat> Lucas. Oh, there he Chris. is. So yeah, guys, unfortunately, as much as I would want to see this whole Christmas spectacular, you guys, my ride is literally outside. All right, Frank. It hurts my heart. Thanks for joining You're us, Frank. You're awesome, man. Go jump in your Megazord. And get out of here. I want you to use my own spare time though tonight though. I'll let you know. You gave us a great <laughs> valiant effort. Thank you. More for now. Love you, time, you guys. Take care and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Yo, I'll come up to you next year, D-Rog. I'm gonna study my trivia. I'm gonna study it hard. I'm always studying my trivia. Oh. Ho Take ho care. ho! Who would it go? That's gotta be the only way to get through this, is just to sing along. That's the only There's way. There's still like nine more minutes of this? Hey, I yeah. was trying to... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to entertain you guys by saying all the names of the Rangers, even though I will not get any points for it. Yeah, the kids' voices, I like, I mean, I don't want to knock the kids. It's not their fault. Right? That's what I was saying. I want to knock the kids. It's not their fault, but they they sound so creepy. No. <laughs> Because because they're not like professional singers, which are creepy enough, but at least they sound good. It 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 wouldn't be so bad it. if it wasn't that they're singing for twenty two minutes of this episode. It's just constantly, yeah. There's are not enough going kids? on to do a commentary. Are they adults that have like like the chipmunk effect in their voice? No, nah, no, nah, they gotta. Th those sound like real kids. Hyman Saban probably him. just hired his own children to sing it. it was like everyone, yeah, he, he <laughs> all, all of the producers' kids start singing. Let's go. We'll record it. Saban went for the cheapest thing ever. Like the kids were were not union. They were not they were not paid. He just picked up kids at a mall. Probably. Oh, and finally! Finally, we get some Rangers. Thing. What's going the on? Rangers in their suits. 
even though he lost his powers. And and for some reason, the Green Ranger's here, even though the Green Ranger arc had already ended when they yeah. released this. And they already had the White Ranger at this point, and they already had Aisha and I mean, Rocky and Adam. Oh, no, not too much power. Oh my god, no. Unless you get excited that something might happen. No, back to the song. But see, Fuck the that. only way Santa could successfully deliver presents was with a little help from the Power Rangers this year. Just a little. And he needed all six. Yeah, ride that horse. Going ham. <laughs> I'm gonna ride this train. I don't want to sleep. Alpha gave us wake up juice. Morphine. Morphine. The whole, the whole vibe of this is giving me like any moment this could turn into a horror movie. Yeah. Sort yeah, of like, like yeah. Alpha, now sacrifice the children. It's Krampus. <laughs> that little stuffed bear could come to life or some shit. The, the we yeah. need to power the Zords. No, the best part is would be if just like children's uh, souls. Rita and Goldar attack right now and just eviscerate all these children Water all the for children. being a part of this interstellar war. <laughs> just casualties. Well, the what original show was in Japan, a good idea. Well, the original show in Japan, the Shoe Ranger, uh, Rita did like try to sacrifice children. She hated children. That oh, was her snap. art because they had killed her son. Damn. The, nope. the Rangers like it's like Shakespeare. That's why it didn't adapt her. It didn't adapt that into her storyline. <laughs> the only like plot and dialogue is lines to set up a next song. <laughs> you just talked about. Wait, 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 now you have the White Ranger. Why? Huh? Oh, it's a clip show. Oh, Look, there's Rocky. There's Rocky. Oh, and the White Ranger. Yeah, had changed the Red Ranger. If you didn't know that. Tommy just must have busted out the White Rangers, the Green Ranger suit, because just for festivity. Yeah. Oh, yeah, red and now and green. you gotta have red and green. Well, there we have Adam. Oh, yeah, snap, what back. a dunk well, by Billy. He completely the missed Ranger the basket. Oh, my God. He completely missed the basket. He was just doing a flip. Oh, apparently, Christmas is about sports, too, apparently. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Sports. And Kim. Oh. And the actress. Yeah, dance. She recently lost her dad. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, Amy Jo Johnson. She recently, she recently lost her dad. Alpha's thinking of his whole family, the Power Rangers. And he's like, <laughs> these are the best years of my robot life. Yes, and there's Jason for some reason. And is that Trini? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. And, and Zach. Oh my god. Yeah. There's a clip show. I mean, what's the thing that you said? It was the footage. Yeah. The reusable footage. Talk footage, yeah. Well, the children talk. Power Rangers don't care about a meet and greet tonight, kids. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Santa's our VIP. You didn't get to meet Jason. You didn't get to meet uh, uh, any other Rangers. Only only Alpha. Sorry, guys. And how would these children even know who Alpha is? He's not out there. Yes, he's never been advertised. Never yet. To the general public. Public, they don't know who he is. There wasn't even an after all these years. I had also, not like, I was not missing anything. Even if they knew who he was, how do That's they right. have presents mm -hmm. for him when they literally were taken from their homes? They, for him, not for them, for him. They were taken with their presents. <laughs> well, those were presents for them, and they're like, oh, I guess we can have this. <laughs> I don't know. It seems like, like Alpha has a lot of reverence for Jesus Christ. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is there, is there any chance Zordon was one of Jesus' apostles or Could disciples? Could be, because, like, Lord Zed is Jewish, so who knows? And Hansa Ban is also Jewish, so there you go. Jews for Jesus. Makes sense. Lord Zed was Jewish? Yes. Um, In the wedding, he did the nah, 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 he was in the chair. No way. <laughs> he held him up in the chair, Jay. <laughs> So I think I think what I'm learning through this entire Christmas special is that Christmas is about capitalism. Of course. And it is. that all of these products that we love, all these things that we love, are about capitalism too. And so remember, kids, if you keep capitalism in your heart, 
<laughs> you can celebrate Christmas too. Yes, because yes. everything is about give me, give me. I want, I want. And terrible Christmas carols. And abducting children. Steven, let me tell you the truth. When I heard that you were going to do a commentary on, oh my God, is this, is that the Virgin Mary? Let me let me tell you the truth. I haven't really looked at it like I, I, I like I've had it on, or like my niece and my nephew, but I've never really like set this episode. You know, never seen this. This is terrible. And I saw it a few years ago when it was on the the, the DVD, but I did not see it as a child because I saw it as a blockbuster. Go through this ominous glowing door, children. Yeah, <laughs> that door, it looks like the door from the power chamber that they use in Zeo. So it could be that door. So when you said that you're going to see this episode, I was like, oh God. <laughs> Are these guys going to be able to watch the whole thing? Because it's just Christmas songs and very shrill Christmas it songs. Like, it's, it's literally 23 minutes long and it's it feels like ten times that long. <laughs> Let me tell you, I've Die Hard, Die Hard, uh, Power Ranger, the fans, they don't like this episode. You know, they can't sit through it like. How could anybody? There's not even Power Rangers. There's no. There's no fighting. There's no ninjas. Not even like I don't know. Like if the children. Wait, are at the is something thing? gonna happen? There's an alarm. That's the, the alarm they use. Oh my god. There's three of the Power Rangers Whoa. because the other ones they fired. <laughs> Tommy, yay. <clears throat> He's in green. From this green screen. Why does it look like they're being held up at gunpoint? I think they just were just hired there and they were asked to do that scene, I think. Because they were in the same outfit they wore on the first episode that they were in. Whoa. This makes no sense because they, they showed like the White Ranger and, like, and now Tommy's now the Green exactly. Ranger again. I think what happened w w was was this. This was probably shot before the White Ranger episodes were shot, I think. Mm. They were all shot out of order, I think. I think that's what happened. You know, also, what May this be the year we have peace on Earth. I think it's international stuff too because they hadn't got the White Ranger episodes yet. So I think they were just hoping to have the, the Christmas vehicle. How is this snowing inside? Because it's Power Rangers. Christmas how magic, come, bro. How come they can be in space and, and breathe oxygen with no helmet? It's Power Rangers. How come they have horses on the moon? They're Power Rangers. Yeah, sing it, Kim. <laughs> hey, I'm gay, and I still had a crush on Amy Jo Johnson, too. Yes. And Sing JDF. it. Poor JDF. I know. Rest in peace, the GOAT. Rest in peace, yes, the GOAT. I'll be honest, like, I didn't think it was going to shake me as, like, as much as I thought it was going to be, because, like, I was, like, kind of Cynical, I wasn't a huge uh, JDF fan because I'd be like, oh, he's overrated and he's this, he's that. But then when I heard that he passed, I couldn't believe it. That's your childhood, man. It's everyone's childhood. It's, it's weird because, like, Jason David Frank is, like, in, like, Stan Lee level in in his, in his I mean, you know, Wolverine. universe. I mean, he wanted, you know? he wanted to have, like, a Wolverine kind of show. No, but I'm saying, like, he's, he's that huge of an icon. You yeah, know what no. I mean? At yeah, a Comic Con. Yeah, yeah. and, and and I didn't really understand that or realize that until he was done. You know? I know. I know. Like I I did, but I didn't wanna like admit it. I didn't even wanna admit I'm a big JD fan because like there's so much there's so much not hate, but like, you know, haters kind of stuff. With with JD after like, oh he's at it again and stuff like that. But you gotta appreciate the GOAT, the icon. We did it! We made oh, it! Oh, oh, we made it! We, we survived! Made it alive. How many Jingle Bells were in this episode? I forgot to count. <laughs> Yo, if you drank every time they said Jingle Bells, you'd be dead by now. 
Oh, we should have done a drinking game. We're standing. Thank no, you. No, Gore said. No, Rita. No, Gore. Wait a minute. I, they just showed the names of the children's choir, and like eight of them had the same last name. They're <laughs> all related. Let's go check if they are. There, there were like dashes. Really? I didn't even see yeah, that. Yeah, there were hyphenated names. I don't know if the first. Top of five. Here we go. No, hey, no, no. Okay. The, the okay. choir. The choir. Oh, the choir. It's the next okay. one, I think. Yeah. There Jensen, go. Jensen, Jensen, oh, Jensen, 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 Jones, Jones, Jones. Jones. Were a it was a family. <laughs> Cousins. It's I just know people who worked on it were like, hey, let's get our kids to sing. Oh, Jensen. I forgot. It. Did you guys ever see um the, the mass writer? Because he also had a Christmas special. Oh, and I didn't with, know there's a mass writer with, Christmas special. Well, it, it's like an episode in like all the episodes. Like it it exists, but they were trying to have it as a, a VHS and they had announced they were going to have the VHS, but they never had released it. But it was with Ferbus, who was um, also, rest in peace, uh, Troy, um, no, not Troy. Well, the guy, it was Mini-Me. I forget his name right now. Vern Troyer. Vern Troyer, there we go. He played Ferbus? Yeah, you guys didn't know that he no. played Ferbus? No. Ferbus, Ferbus predates alien. Furby. Yes, he does. Wow. He was a little alien. I thought uh, that Furby and Furby were the same thing. No, <laughs> I have a Furby over here somewhere, but yeah, the same thing. So this is the great guys. So I guess Furby would have also counted as a Christmas character. Oh, yeah. Furby? Apparently. <laughs> And here's an image of Furbis on Christmas to close us out. A horrible <laughs> watermarked image hey, of Furbis. There's a mm. whole thing in the in the fandom for now okay, show Furby Atsu, that they call him Hail Furbis. They say Hail Furbis for some reason. Uh, I don't know why. We, we all know what Furby looks like. What yeah. does he look like? With eyes and it, and duck mouth. it looks just it looks like, like the same thing. It's basically the same character. That's the nineties, dude. That's the nineties. Only 90s. It looks like everything else in a sellable package that actually works. That is not a failure. So thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you, Stephen. Thank, thank you for asking me. I'll be happy to. Present. I'll be happy to come back anytime. I'm excited. The little, the little guys from the Turbo movie kind of look like the kind of look like those two. You're right. Yes. It, uh, but it's Larico. I forgot the alien. Larico, yeah. The, the alien, um, the race. But yeah, it was Larico and his and his wife and his dog. I think I, I think daughter. I don't know. It was they look like Furby too. They also look like Furbies. They were actually they were they were they were based on they were based on a character from from the Japanese. Uh, uh, um, it was Car Ranger. It was a little alien too. So I think that was what okay. it was. Nice. Uh, he, uh, he didn't look like a furry though. He more he looked like um oh you remember that movie that was trying to be like ET that was called Mac and Me? He looked like a Mac and Me. Oh <laughs> no, Mac and Me was ugly. Yes, very ugly. I I got nightmares from that sh from that movie. Mac and Me does not celebrate Christmas. I'm pretty sure Mac and Me only celebrates satanic things. <laughs> that would not be a character hey. to use in trivia. Thank you so much. I can share, let me show you not. I'm not gonna show you <laughs> Mac and me, but I will show you the alien that. Oh, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> um. All right. I gotta wrap everything up. Alrighty. I would just like to tell everyone to check us out on all podcast platforms. This episode and video is available on our YouTube channel, Vundacast Productions. Um, check out the Patreon for Lavender Ranger and their and TikTok, TikTok and Henshin Grid and check out D Rock's Patreon ad infinitum with ones in the letter I. Um, also, you can check us, check, keep track of everything over at, at Vundacast on Twitter. Mr. J, thank you so much for joining us. Let's Next go. time, it'll be all Black Adam trivia for you. Yes. Um, D Rock, 
thank you so much for going along with the ride and somehow coming out with a fourth championship on your resume. There were shenanigans going on. <laughs> Second place. I will still be happy about that. That I haven't ever played and I got Master. From out of nowhere, a Trials of Trivia rookie in second place. I didn't believe it. Um, I have been your host, Stephen. And uh, remember, kids, um, if a, a if, if a magical alien head summons you to their <laughs> command center to hug a robot on Christmas <laughs> night, oh, yeah. they're probably really nice people who <laughs> just want to make you listen to Christmas songs, so don't rock the boat. I'm going to hug my Tommy. And rest in peace, Jason David Frank. You're the GOAT. You're the greatest Power Ranger of all time. We are all but but humble nerds who were lucky enough to have Bass in your glory for a small amount of time. Yeah, Merry I Christmas. And, uh, and we have one more episode coming out this year after this. And we are going to have our top 2022 horror films. Uh, me, Danny, and D-Rock are going to go through some of the scariest things that we've watched this year on our next episode. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, peace on Earth. Goodwill. Peace. Towards all men. Hey, I'm Wonder. Hey, I'm Wonder. Wondercast? Give yeah. it up for Wondercast, man. What an adorable name. You're listening to the Voondacast. What's up, everybody? This is Jason David Frank, Green Ranger. You're listening to Voondacast. The Gods! You can find it at Voondacast, and I know they love Effie. Subscribe to the Vondacast. Yo, not <laughs> the trivia master. Even I wasn't expecting Kermit. <laughs> <laughs>